This is your last chance. After this, there's no going back. You can either take the red pill and see greatness, or take the blue pill and start anew. Oh, you don't want either? That's it. Hola, ¿cómo estás? El Papa e eh, Sauce Pot. Welcome to Sauce Pot, guys. Today we got nachos. Uh, hopefully that didn't come off wrong in the beginning, but we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna start with the pico de gallo, and you're gonna see some nachos today. I can't wait, you can't wait. Let's get right into it. So you're gonna get one onion for this pico de gallo, uh, preferably a large one. If you're making this for a lot of people, you can go and get about half a bushel. Doesn't even go in bushels. I think it's like bulbs, I'm pretty sure. Not 100% perfect when it comes to how food's grown. I mean, this could be grown in a lab for all I know. <laughs> Make lateral cuts into the motherfucker like he owes you money. And Go ahead and just make some thin slices on top. And I just want to talk to you guys for a second. So in most of my videos, I'm pretty nonchalant. I'm pretty like calm and tame. Do you want to see the real side of me? Do you want me to stay like chill and just be like your weird uncle that's at a barbecue? that's just sitting there drinking beer, hitting on someone, maybe hitting the pinata when nobody's looking. Fuck you, Kyle. You don't deserve this fucking pinata. Oh, sorry. Sorry he's four. I don't know, whatever. All right, so you're gonna take this onion and you're gonna plop her in. I'm actually probably just gonna stay with one half. What am I gonna do with this other half, you might ask? Straight in the ass. Then you wanna take a tomato, take the weird fucking butthole off of it, throw it to the side, and you wanna kinda of dice it up the same way that you did the onion. So this one I do it a little bit different. I'm just gonna make some, some cross hatches in it now. And usually I picked out the wrong tomatoes. It doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like you just stepped on it or had a foot fetish. Um, so then take it to the side and just work it down. You really wanna have a sharp knife when working with tomatoes. Um, they usually turn to mush if you don't have a sharp knife. This knife was given to me as a gift Someone just stole my Hellcat. Alright, I don't have a Hellcat. I have a little 1999 Suzuki motorcycle, bike, skateboard. Alright, so fuck this tomato. Fuck it up. Beat the shit out of it. Stomp on it. Don't do this recipe. Watch somebody else's videos. Do whatever you want. Alright, jalapenos. Alright. There's a big debate on the internet if jalapenos are hot or not. They're not. I'm probably gonna taste this and be like, oh my God, fuck, help me, help me, Jesus. I'm gonna start begging for my life. Um, you can take the seeds out if you want. You don't have to keep the seeds in. I'm gonna keep them in and I'm gonna actually keep them in bigger chunks. So I'm just gonna quarter up two jalapenos. So quartering is getting them into fourths. Um, if you didn't know, because a quarter 25 cents plus four times four, I mean, it, it goes into a dollar, a dollar's a whole. I wanna be whole. Sarah took the kids. Please bring them back, please. <laughs> I don't know who Sarah is. I didn't have kids either. I'm actually like bald down there. Cause in another video I did previously, I referenced a pickle to my wiener. I'll put that clip in right now. This looks like a little dick. And I said, this looks like a little dick. 
I don't know what dicks look like. I literally don't. I'm I'm bald down there. I'm bald. Alright. Just mix this girl up or guy. I don't know what the fuck this shit is. Who even knows who I am? Because I don't. At the end of the day, I'm just a random person to you. Unless you're like a family member or something. Alright. Take your skills of just skiing. I know all of you have those skills of just... And roll out some limes. And get these guys cut open and add the lime to your peak of the guile. There's no juice in this. This bitch is useless. All right, don't watch, guys. That's gonna be brutal. So I've mutilated those motherfuckers. And I got more juice on my table than anything else. But just mix, mix, mix. Just get this guy nice and mixed up. It's all incorporated. It's all relatively the same size except for the jalapenos. Because I'm not a bitch. I, I don't like when there's like, ooh, there's one jalapeno and 19 onions and four tomatoes in my mouth. So. Be good to go. Let's move on. See you guys in the next segment. I'm going to go about a cup of whole milk. And I shredded my own sharp cheddar and Monterey Jack. We're going to get that in there. And then a good binder is American cheese. You can use Velveeta. You can use pretty much any kind of cheese that you want. We're just going to all throw it into the pot and really just get this thing going. You want it on like a medium heat. You don't want to scold your milk. You don't want to burn anything. You just want to kind of bring this all together. That milk's going to help loosen everything up, help it melt down, and really just get to the cheese consistency that you want. I'm going to mix this around for a little bit. I'm going to season it up later. Well, not really season it. I'm going to put some pickled jalapenos into it here in a little bit. And after that, we'll move on to the tortillas. And it'll be pretty easy. Can't wait to see you guys there. Love ya. So we got to the point to where I like it. It's nice. It's not super thick. It's not super runny. Uh, you're gonna adjust your liquid levels to the amount that you're making. I kind of made a cauldron of death. Go free! That's all right. So this is a really good recipe also for mac and cheese. Uh, the only difference that you would do with mac and cheese to this is just maybe not add in pepper jack or add in pepper jack. I'm gonna add in some pickled jalapenos right now to kind of give it that oomph, that flair. You can also change out with queso Oaxaca, uh, a bunch of other stuff uh, to make this more of like a queso that you would see anywhere else. So I'm going to just rough chop these jalapenos. And then. So after you rough chop them, you can just drop them in. Drop them in like so and just get them stirred around and mixed in. And then every little bite will have some of that pickled jalapeno goodness. Mm -hmm. We're on to the next part. We got some motherfucking corn tortillas. So I am gonna take about, I don't know, 13 of them. And just fry these up at three. Uh, 50. They're gonna get nice and crisp. Making our own again. You don't have to do this. You can always get the stuff at the store and all that, but these just hold up better. 
They get crisp, but they get them to where you want them and how you are going to successfully live your life. So we're going to fry these up for about five minutes at 350 and then we'll season them. I just got some salt, garlic pepper and onion powder and we're almost done with this video. So I'm here ready and square. Big brained, little weaned. So these guys, crispier than ever. We're gonna get into assembling my version of the perfect nachos. I never even said that they were perfect, but thinking about it, they're pretty perfect. So we're just gonna get some chips. Lay out some chips. Oh, that's not, that's not, an, hold on. Don't get your panties in a bunch. We're gonna take some meat, sprinkle some meat. Then we'll take some of this delicious, I wanna show you guys that how awesome this came out. Look at this cheese. Like perfect queso. We'll take some of this cheese. And we'll go ahead and just get a nice little layer of cheese. Then we'll take some more nachos, chips. We'll take some more chips, layer them out. Take some more meat. And then more cheese. some more cheese than that. We're all kind of loving how this is looking. Man. And I just got some shredded lettuce. I like shredded, shredded? <laughs> I like shredded for the, the crunch. There's not a lot of flavor to it. And then that pico de gallo that we had, it was sitting in the fridge. The lime and everything's beautifully mixed into this. We're just gonna get some dollops of that all along these nachos. Get them dolloped right there, right there. And then just a little bit more cheese. Just going straight on top of everything. Man. If you ever come over and you want something, ask for my nachos. They're amazing. I love them. There's so much going on with it. Oh, it's just so perfect. Let's go ahead and dig right in. Mm. Chef's kiss. The meat comes through. The cheese isn't overpowering. It helps out. The pig of the guile really cuts through. It adds a nice heatness and it adds an acidity to get through the rich flavors of the cheese. The tortillas are fried up, seasoned with that garlic powder and onion powder and salt. It really brings everything together. Man, if the CIA or the FBI were after me, and they were here to just, you know, what they do best. And I was like, hey, just have some nachos, please. Just eat some of these. They'd probably not do anything and just go on and do what they like to do. Not saying that you guys can come get me. Don't get me, please. Dear God, please don't come get me. But these nachos are perfect for anything that you guys are going uh, gonna have. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being along with me on this ride. Go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe. If there's anything that you guys want me to do next, let me know in the comments. I got, I got, a, I got some cool ideas coming through. Today I'm just making nachos and we're enjoying them. I love you guys so much. See you guys in the next episode. Peace.